I am the most beautiful talaga. Pag si Albert yung gumagawa mm. ng makeup ko. Totoo yun, walang etos. <laughs> Baka bias ka lang kasi friends tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero totoo yun, grabe. The best looks, the best nights of my life. Si Albert yung gumawa ng makeup ko. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Albert and today we are having a special ladies for our guests. Uh, we have Paj Magtanong, Binibiding Pilipinas International 2019. And we have also Aya Besamis, Binibiding Pilipinas 2019 first runner up. And of course, today extra special participation, we are having also Miss Maxine Medina, Miss Universe Philippines 2016. And of course, Miss Ariela Arida or Miss Ara Arida. Miss Universe Philippines 2013. So in this episode, we I am sharing you guys the behind the scene access on what's going on during the glam or the makeup session with them because today I am doing the makeup for the four ladies. Uh, a little bit special for Miss Paj Magtanong and Aya Bisamis because it's their final walk because uh, today is the grand final of Binibiding Pilipinas 2021 and Miss Ariela Arida and Miss Maxine Medina and of course we have a little bit of Q&A so watch out For starters, I had the very special chance to mentor these girls on how to do their makeup As you know, beauty queens have little or no help at all during the competition. So dapat they can do their own makeup too. At hindi lang yun, dapat maganda rin sila on stage. While doing their makeup, I asked them some questions. So Aya, can you share a little bit to my viewers what one specific makeup technique that you learned from me and you technically applied for the rest of your, ano, uh, Rain in Beauty Queen Filipinas or as a beauty queen? Well, I think the most sufficient tip that you taught me was to put the glitters under my eyes and that really became a trend. A lot of beauty, beauty queens also did that and also makeup artists and I was so proud to be one of the girls who was able to like really pull it off and because of Albert. So I'm very thankful for that and grateful for you. And I learned so much with my makeup skills and I practiced it every day. So thank you very much. Aww. So ano naman yung that special technique or uh, makeup application that ginagawa ko sa sayo na uh, you hated the most before and then ngayon biglam na realize mo oh nga no useful pala siya or becomes your favorite pala. Um I think the hard part or the technique that you taught me that was really hard for me to understand was the application of the bronzer um, trying to build it from the base till like the actual final from putting like the contour and then the blush and then after doing it all over again you have to do it again the contour and blush to finalize everything but it was all worth it because it lasts the whole day and you look perfectly fine and beautiful yes that's what we call is the layering of products because uh, you guys know so, so I don't really use a specific color or product right away. Puk plakado agat, but I like to slowly build it the intensity. So I guess you know normally ng ano ng mga beauty queen or mga artista kasi how important their time. So if they can shortcut or do it in one step, they will do. Pero oh, na realize mo na importante para siya. Mm. Super importante. Kung hindi holas yung makeup. So basically, for you dot uh, yung hindi alam na I train. Uh, certain beauty queens also, lalo na si Aya, si Pat, si Ara, and si Maxine in the preparation for them to compete locally and internationally. So basically, I have to make sure that they know how to do a specific makeup kung anong bagay sa kanila. So Aya, I have a question. Sa daming makeup artists that you already work with, bakit ako yung napili mo sa final walk mo? <laughs> of course! 
um, since you taught me and you, you trained me, gave your time, I'm very grateful for you. So um, it would be an honor for you to really do my makeup. You know, it's, uh, it's gonna be our history together, our journey together. So, yun. Okay. Iyak na tayo. Oo, baka umiiyak na. Okay, ito na lang. Um, how can you describe me as a makeup artist? One way, or actually not just one way, a few ways to describe you as a makeup artist is that you are very professional, you give your time and efforts, you're not very picky, and you are very grateful for whoever is there for you. And, voila, you just, you're very passionate with what you do, and mm. it's very beautiful. I feel like I'm so beautiful every time you do me. Hmm. So, yeah. so, Aya, this is your final walk tonight. So, how does it feel? It actually feels so surreal, but I'm also excited because I know that there's a new chapter for me. So, yeah. And it's a mixed feeling. What will your advice to young girl out there who wants to be a beauty, beauty queen like you guys? The best advice that I would give is that I think everyone would say this, but just to be yourself and also just understand what what you are, who you are, love yourself and just try to answer freely as possible as long as it is something that you believe in and just believe in yourself. What did you learn naman as a beauty queen? Na, I mean, during this journey as a beauty queen, what did you learn naman that you can share to us, yung mga non-beauty queen? I learned so much in being a beauty queen. Um, ever since I was younger, I never really wanted to, but this has opened my eyes in so many ways for me to like expand my horizons and also believe in myself more and more and have that confidence. And so, a, sali na kayo. <laughs> a lot of fans diba, expecting that you, they thought that you're competing for Miss Grand International. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I know this is a little bit, you know, parang uh, uh, crucial yung tanong ko. Pero I, I, I think yung ibang fans mo out there deserve to know the, and would like to hear something from you na, um, bakit hindi ikaw yung pinadala? Well, as you all know, I'm already 29 and that is over age for Miss Grand International. And I respect all the decision and it's all fair. But of course, I believe that there's something more for me there, out there, and this is not meant for me. So, yun. But I'm very grateful for everyone who has worked, worked hard for it and believing in me, praying for me to join, and for just supporting me nonstop. So ayan na nga guys, so uh, at least narinig na natin straight form Aya. So maraming nagchichismis sa labas, ganito daw, ganun daw. So at least yun nga, I mean like, uh, syempre pandemic holds or uh, ano yung period of time na, na one year older ka and uh, it's not legible anymore. There's always an age limit. So at least it's already clarifying all the questions and doubt about that, ano, di ba? Feeling judge talaga ako guys. So turn naman ni Patch to answer my question. So what's next for Patch Magtanong? Um, so right now I'm working in a law firm and I'm very excited. I'm learning a lot and right now I'm super at the bottom of the food chain as in wala pa akong alam. So I'm really excited to grow in that field. Um, how about pageant world. Kasi maraming nagtatanong kung sasali ba si Patch ulit. We're passing the crown tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very excited for the next Binibining Pilipinas International to compete in Japan this year. What was the uh, one trick or makeup uh, hack that you learned from me? that you keep on practicing until today? 
Oh, wow. Actually, when I met Albert, wala akong alam sa makeup zero. So, you can say na everything that I learned and everything that I do with my makeup now has little influence. Not little, a lot of influences from Albert. So, yung mga we shot YouTube videos na rin before. Lagi kong pinapanood yung mga videos natin bago ako mag-makeup, lalo na pag big event. Tapos tinatry ko i-recreate. Pero syempre, hindi ko magawa. Pero, at least, you know, kahit 50% lang ng work ni Albert, ang ganda-ganda ko na. Mm. That one thing that you learn from me and forever ginagamit mo yan sa makeup steps mo. So, the one thing I learned from Albert is before anything, before putting on color, before doing your blush and your eyes, kailangan i-contour mo yung face mo. Hindi lang yung sa cheekbones, pero your nose line, and then you bring it up to your eyes para cohesive, and then even under your lips, tama? Para mm. medyo mag-plump. So, never ko ginawa yun, and it makes a world of difference kasi kahit medyo chubby-chubby cheeks ka, biglang magkakaroon ng angles yung face mo. For me kasi, it's better understanding uh, anong yung shape ng makeup mo or anong intensity for the eyeshadow dapat. So very important to sculpt the face first before doing the eyes. Ano naman yung ano, uh, one thing that you learn uh, during your reign as a beauty queen? One thing, the most important thing I learned siguro is to not be afraid. Because a lot of things that we are afraid to try, parang we build it up in our heads, and then if we just take the leap of faith and then try lang talaga, you never know it'll surprise you na you'll succeed. And maraming bagay yung hindi natin magagawa kung hindi tayo maging brave and fearless. So that's what I did in pageantry, and yon okay naman. What's your message for the young girl out there who wants to be a beauty queen, katulad mo? Siguro, what I would say is to work on yourself first. Lalo na if you're very young, if you're still studying, um, you experience new things, you read a lot of books, you talk to a lot of people, and you experience the world muna, and you build maturity and experience. Kasi, when you become that woman na maraming experience, maraming natutunan, it'll show on stage. It'll it'll show in your journey and makikita ng mga tao na you're a woman with substance on top of being beautiful. And the winner is... Charot. <laughs> Bakit ako yung pinili mo to do your final walk look? Grabe. Siyempre naman, napakasimple ng sagot. Baka iyak tayo ah. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, alam nyo naman, I am the most beautiful talaga. Pag si Albert yung gumagawa hmm. ng makeup ko. Totoo yun, walang etos. <laughs> Baka bias ka lang kasi friends tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero totoo yun, grabe. The best looks, the best nights of my life. Si Albert oh. yung gumawa ng makeup ko. Oh. Okay. Iyak. <laughs> Siyempre, hindi ko palalampasin sa Q&A si Maxine. Sa lahat ng makeup artist gumawa makeup mo, bakit you decided to come to me to do your makeup for tonight's grand final of Beauty 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 Night? That's not even a question, Albert <laughs> Kurnayawan. <laughs> to be honest, ikaw lang talaga ang gusto kong gumawa ng makeup ko. <laughs> Ayun nga, lagi kami never sa matching schedules. Or, no, oh. ano? Ever since, kailan ba tayo last nagkita? I'm always an Albert oh. lover. Always. Okay. Ito naman, what was one makeup hack that you don't like or you hated the most when I do it before? Pero, when you try it, oo nga, maging nagustuhan mo siya. I think yung lip extend extend ah, na outline, uh, outline. Mm -hmm. now ko lang siya na appreciate actually after nung tinuro mo siya sa akin mm -hmm. and i noticed kasi yung lips ko it's like this <laughs> <laughs> when i smile without the outline 
So yon, that's the one of my favorite also. Okay. Uh, how important eh, pa uh, ang tamang makeup or makeup skills ng isang beauty queen sa beauty pageant? Well, it's only to enhance your ano, facial features. Well, on stage kasi lahat magiging flat. And when you learn how to make up, um, to put on makeup and to enhance your special features like me, my, my special features is my eyes. Mm -hmm. And when you enhance my nose, it's going to be like more and more better pa. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think it's really important, especially in pageants, kasi it would help you to be like to glow on stage and to people appreciate you and your beauty. You mean like, uh, di ba normally beauty pageant they have uh, a team of makeup, team or makeup, uh, mm. ano? Uh, do you think it's advisable for the candidate uh, herself to know how to do her own makeup? Of course! It's really important kasi backstage, sobrang daming candidates. And kailangan, kailangan gawin mo your, your own makeup kasi Lalo na yung time, time management, mm -hmm. important yan. And then, um, backstage, sobrang gulo. At least you have your own space, you have your own um, time to put on makeup, to enhance more, or to edit your makeup. I think yun yung sobrang importante kasi, um, well, ayaw, to be honest, ayoko na makisabay. And yun nga, time management, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Anong advice mo naman sa mga young girl out there who dream to be a beauty queen pero natatakot mag-try? Well, my only advice is that just go for it. And walang mawawala if you go for it or not. Pero it's it's like um you go through it or you don't. Because if you don't, what if? Diba? Mm -hmm. So just um, just believe in yourself because it will, you will shine for sure. Tama yun, kasi sometimes mm -hmm. yung kung ano yung sinasabi mo sa sarili mo, kung if you don't believe it, uh, believe that you can do it, it's translate na sa mukha mo and how yes, you perform, so dapat believe in yourself, no? Kaya mm -hmm. I also believe that it is very important for the makeup artist to establish a relationship with their client, especially with these beauty queens. Mas lalo mo silang magpapaganda kapag kilala mo sila in person, like Ara. What sets Albert Kurniawan's makeup? First of all, I would say that I haven't tried any makeup artist since I started here in the industry. Kumbaga, siya yung pioneer makeup artist ko. Siya yung nag-open up how to do makeup um, in a professional way. Especially um, me, coming from the province who doesn't know anything about makeup. I'm very thankful that siya yung una nagturo sa akin. Siya yung humawak sa akin. And I guess what sets his makeup from all the makeup artists is that na appreciate ko how he would really how he would really check your face kung even siya or not and through makeup he will make your face symmetrical and i believe that a beautiful face is a symmetrical face and that's why i super love albert's makeup and that is why you can see now my face is symmetrical even my ears Look symmetrical, joke. <laughs> I have a question for you, Ara. Yes, How important makeup for a beauty pageant? Very important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ganun talaga. Like, ganun, ganun, ganun kataas. Very important. Oh my gosh. No, I would say, especially during our time, ha? Like, um, I would say, during our time, hindi pa ganong kausi yung glam team, and girls are not that spoiled compared to to no. this situation, to this moment, as in today. Well, wala naman akong, nothing against it, right? But it's just that, parang um, makeup for me really is 
important, especially our time. Because nga, we're very hands-on. I mean, I remember during our time, it was only Albert who would teach us the makeup look. And we are 13 girls dun sa, sa ACES. And when it comes to the pageant um, proper itself, yes, we have the sponsor makeup team, but it's like parang per team, it's like four girls for one makeup artist of course i don't want to wait something like that so i would really learn how to do my own makeup and through that it gives me a lot of confidence because i know that i feel beautiful with my makeup and my beauty has been enhanced with my makeup and thankful that i started it with albert and he taught me everything what i need to learn about pageantry makeup so thank you So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because I know a lot of you are not really part, uh, familiar with what's going on behind those uh, makeup session with uh, Beauty Queen. So I hope you like it and do not forget to subscribe or like or share this video if you think that you want to share to your close one. And of course, click that ring bat bell button so that you guys will be notified every time we have or I have a new video. I'll see you on my next video. And if you guys have questions or more suggestions, please comment on the comment box so that I'll be very happy to read or reply your comments.